prayer together is important for us. We're very flexible about how that happens because of people's busy lives, but we pray morning prayer together and evening prayer, and we celebrate Mass in our home once a week. So that's important, and it's important for us for everyone to be there if they're not out of town. And if someone's schedule is such that they can't be there for prayer, then we move prayer to a different time so that we can all be there. So that's that's very important for us. We don't eat all of our meals together. If we're all in the house and it's breakfast time, I guess you could say, after morning prayer or before morning prayer, then people will eat together. It's not always, but you know, a lot of times. But we do we do have evening meals together fairly often several times in a week and we take turns cooking and even though we're we're a fairly small community in my house we're only 3 but we we sit in our dining room instead of sitting in the kitchen and we set the table and it's an important time for us to share life and we talk about the challenges of ministry and we talk about prayer and we talk about what's going on in our in our city what's going on in our state in our world we talk a lot about current events and things that need our attention, our prayer, our advocacy, <laughs> our work. Uh, so we share all of that together and we talk about um, challenges that we're facing and the joys of life as well. And then also in our tradition, in the Marianist tradition, we also have a weekly community meeting where we talk about we talk about calendar issues, like where people are going and what they're up to for the next so many days. If there's a big meeting in Dayton of, you know, people who are working against poverty or people who are working for interreligious dialogue, then we try to say, okay, can we go to that? And and then after we go, then what did we learn or what do we want to bring back from that and how do we want to incorporate that? What we've done in our in our community, in our house this year is that we've decided that we would take one of those meetings each month and go out and share a meal. There's a free meal that happens in one of the parishes in town. And so we go and we we help to serve the meal, but also if we can, we sit and share the meal with the people who are there, um, members of the parish or of the neighborhood who are there for that meal. And that's that's new for us this year because we felt that it was important for us to remain connected to to the larger society and, and perhaps people that we might not come in contact with in our day-to-day. -day. We consider ourselves to be contemplatives in action. So the balance of community life and community prayer with also being active outside of our home in the larger society, I guess, um, is very important to us. And that balance is difficult. It's extremely difficult, especially for those of us who are very busy in active ministry. But the we believe so much that we get the energy and the passion for what we do outside of the house from community life inside the house. 